All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to make a server system messages channel where you have, like, your welcome messages and other important server messages that you might want to share with people or you might not. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to put one into the server info category up here. I'm going to create a new channel. And then I'm going to call this the um, system messages. I can even paste a little emoji in there if I want. You can put that pretty much in any channel name within reason. Like this can be used in your title or your actual like username itself. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave it here. And because I've already set up some permissions inside this category, if I look and edit category, I've got it set up so that any one of these channels, random people, the at everyone role, which is just every basic member of the server, they cannot send messages in any channel in the server info section. Neither can cool member people, they cannot send messages, but moderators can and admins can. That way, only the system and the moderators can do anything about what's going on in the system messages channel, the announcements channel, or the rules channel. Now that this is set up, we need to tell Discord which channel is for server messages. So if we go to server settings and we go to server engagement, this engagement tab on the left hand sidebar, we can see that here at the top is engagement. And these are system messages. Those are things like send a random welcome message when someone joins the server, prompt members to reply to welcome messages with a sticker, send a message when someone boosts the server, send a helpful tips to the server or for server setup. So to set this up, all you have to do is tell it what server or what channel I should say on the server is for system messages. So you just click this pull down. I'm gonna select the system messages channel. And I'm gonna say, I don't necessarily need to prompt people to say hello with a sticker because I find that really spammy and annoying, but sending a message when someone boosts the server is just a nice way of acknowledging that they've boosted your server. So I leave that turned on. And then uh, I don't really need tips for server setup. That's literally why I'm making this guide video right here. And uh, yeah, that looks good. Send messages when people join and when someone boosts the server, excellent. And then you can also display an activity feed. That's over gonna show up over here in the sidebar. Like if I go back to my server, you see how there's this activity here at the top. I don't necessarily need to dox my friends like this. In fact, I'm gonna turn that off on my server by going to server settings engagement and turning off the activity feed because that feels kind of invasive. But you can leave that on or off if you like. It'll just tell you who's been playing what recently in the event that that's a way to encourage people to join them or ask to join them to encourage, you know, interaction between your members. Going back into server settings, I'll go back to engagement. I'm going to turn off the activity feed in mine. You can default what notifications you want people to get. Um, if they'll be notified for all messages or only direct messages. I kind of don't really have a preference for this. If you send all notifications for all messages, if this is one of the only servers that you're active on, your phone will get little pop-ups as people send messages in the server. Otherwise, you can send it so that only when you send out a notification, like an at everybody or an at here, or you directly notify somebody, only then will they actually get a ping or some type of pop-up. And then we can also set up a AFK channel, which is a good idea to have in the voice channels. So to set up a vo an AFK channel, all you have to do is create one AFK. You don't actually need to do anything special beyond that. Discord will take care of the rest. Oh, I made that the wrong kind of channel. Let's delete that. Let's make this a voice channel. AFK, not here. And then we'll create channel. And then we will go back to our settings, server settings, engagement, and then here at the bottom, we will select the AFK not here channel. And then people will go in there after they have been AFK for more than 15 minutes. And I'll hit save. And now, whenever someone goes in here, it'll kind of have this pop-up that says, hey, you've been moved to the inactive channel. You can decide whether or not you want to see that again and you'll be automatically muted in that channel. Previously, you had to set up the, the channel to mute people that were put in here automatically. 
Now Discord does that for you, no extra work. And that's it, that's how you add an AFK channel as well. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a look at how to set up a system welcome messages channel and an AFK channel. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.